Hi there, I'm Bunna, and this is my Grid Locked Arc series. The map has been divided into grids that can only be unlocked by completing certain milestones I've set for my character. Grids can be lost if I die and can't retrieve my items, or if I die in a boss fight. The series will end when I've either unlocked all of the grids, or defeated the Alpha Tier boss encounter. Hello there, everybody! Bonna here, and welcome back to our Gridlocked episode 5. It's crazy. Five episodes so far. We're just like plowing through these things, and I'm just having an absolute blast doing it. This is just such a unique way to play Ark, and uh, it's something I've certainly never done before, so I think it's just really cool to have like a, uh, a set goal in mind, you know? It's great. I love it. But I did a little harvesting off-camera, because I have some projects and stuff I want to work on, and I figured rather than just have an episode of me harvesting things, I should probably get a little bit of it off-camera. So, right now, I'm just trying to get some narco berries. Um, I already got, like, probably 1,100 or so, I think, in the base that I gathered. Uh, but I want some more, because I gathered a bunch of raw resources, like stone, wood, thatch, and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, I want to craft narcotics while I craft that stuff into structures for the new base that I talked about. So, I think the cave move is a go. Um, in my head, it still makes sense. And from the comments I've seen from the last video that I just posted, like, I don't know, probably a couple hours ago at this point, uh, you guys seem to be on board with it too. So, I think we're just gonna pull the trigger, and we're just gonna fucking send it. You know what I'm saying? Me a Wanda. We're gonna fucking send it! Alright, how many we got so far? Wanda's a freaking beast. Look at that. Imagine picking that by hand. Like, there's no fucking way. I'd be out here for hours getting these narco berries. So, the fact that I've got, like, a, a berry machine... A fucking machine! It's great. I love it. So far, the feedback from you guys has continued to be awesome, and I absolutely love seeing those comments rolling in. Um, every time I post a new video, I get, like, showered with great feedback, and it's, it's phenomenal. It's like a community is being built here, and I, that's something I've always wanted for uh, any video that I've made on YouTube. I want, like, a community of people. You know, not just subscribers, not just viewers, I want a community. That's what makes this so great, is you guys pitching in ideas, and me considering those ideas, you know, and figuring out if they're like a, a good approach to take, or if I should do something else instead. It's kind of like theory crafting, you know? That's a good word for it. Theory crafting. And that's pretty much what this, uh, this series right now is all about, you know? It's figuring out what makes sense with the barriers that are currently in place, and then finding workarounds or ways of overcoming those obstacles. And I need you guys to help me with that like you have been doing, because, uh, as I said, this is something new for me, something I've never done. I'm still a noob at this game, despite the thousands of hours that I have logged, and so I need all the help that I can get. Okay, that should be plenty for right now, I think. Um, I also divided all of those meat stacks up that I had on Frederick the Raptor! So they should all be spoiled, and I can use those to craft the uh, narcotics. So let's head on back to base. I'll probably make a second mortar and pestle. A uh, mortar and pestle, rather. And I'll throw all this stuff in there. We'll craft the narcotics, and then while they're making, we'll make all the stone structures that I think I'll need for the base of the cave. And I might not even have enough resources for that. I'll have to see. Okay, so let's craft ourselves a second mortar and pestle here. And we're definitely going to want S+, so I'm just going to make it out the gate. Uh, but in the smithy here, this is all the stuff that I gathered off camera. Which, uh, it's not a crazy amount. I mean, it's a good bit, especially since I'm doing it all by hand. I think this will certainly get me a starter base. I don't know if it'll be large enough to uh, do everything that I want to do. Um, certainly not for my dinos, because I'm going to need to, like, pen them in. Or just have them on guard at all points in time. I don't know which is better. But uh, that'll at least get me a good ways, so let's fill these guys up with all the berries and all the meat. And uh, it's probably in my best interest to try to get an XP booster while I do this, because the more experience I get, the better. 
but I don't know if there's any real close to me. So I might need to do a quick look around, and uh, if there's one close, I'll snag it. If not, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, Frederick, let's go on a little walkabout real quick and see if we can find a booster. So I know I already got the one that was on this island. I don't think there's a second one. And if I had to go off of memory, I, I want to say that there's one over this direction near where those beaver dams are. And I think it's underneath that uh, the big rock awning thing. Okay, well, I must have been mistaken about there being an XP booster near this rock on thing. But I do think that there's one across the water here. So I might just go on over here and see what I can see. Oh, there's a duck! Come here, duck! Come here! I don't know if raptors get decent polymer off these things or not. I always thought you were supposed to club them, you know? But we'll try it. It's not gonna hurt nothing. We'll see how it is. 19. Yeah, that's that's nothing compared to what I got before and so I'm noticing the levels are broken again I mentioned this last episode. I went in after I edited that episode and I corrected the file That wasn't there that I definitely added previously So I don't know if it got like, you know removed with a recent arc update or what but I went back in added it Did a dino wipe and things are still messed up So it's really weird. I, I'm I might need to go check it again, because I don't want to tame anything when the levels are off like this. It's really funky. I thought I had it fixed. Turns out I don't got it fixed. Booster! Booster, where are you? I'm looking for you, Booster. Also, I almost forgot to mention, a few days ago, I put out a poll on the community page of my channel, and I asked you guys what you liked best in terms of the pins on the map, or if you liked the map overlay, or if you wanted both pins and the map overlay. And at the time of recording this video, just the pins is winning right now. So, I think, moving forward, that's probably all I'm gonna do is put pins on the map. Oh, holy shit! Ho! Oh, oh, Ho, where'd you come from, buddy? Oh, there's two of you! Are you, wait, are you decent level? Because I might fucking tame you if you're decent level. Oh no, the levels are messed up, right. Yeah, I ain't taming shit now. Oh, there's three! That's great! Keep them coming! Oh, there's four! Look at that! So anyways, like I was saying, from this point forward, I think I'm just gonna stick with the pins on the map. Because no one was, like, really against that, per se. But, um, there seems to be much more people that want the pins over the map overlay that I was doing. And in the end, it is a far, like, way less editing for me. So, from that standpoint, that means I can record more. Which seems to be what you guys would like better. So, uh, that's my plan. If you guys protest said plan, let me know. Okay, well, I'm like 99% positive that we've passed up three boosters by now that I just can't find anywhere in those woods. But I thought there was one out here in this beach, and I keep bumping the right mouse button for some reason, and he's making Frederick pounce. He seems like he's happy. Okay, fuck it, I'm looking it up, let's do it. Oh yeah, that's a lot of explorer notes. Okay. Um... So, it actually looks like there's a lot right down in that starter chunk that I was at. So I probably didn't even need to come nearly this far. But let me put this on my other monitor, and let me take a look at the map here real quick, and we will compare. Alright, so I'm on that guy. So there should be one, like, right this way, which is what I thought. Up this direction. Oh, there it is! Oh, right, look at that. Okay. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna hop off, I'm gonna get the booster, because I just want this one for me. I don't want it on Frederick, so... We're gonna snag it. Uh-huh. I don't care what it says or what it pops up, and then we're just gonna take off like a bat out of hell now. now. Okay, we are back to home sweet home. Just in time, because Frederick is tired. He's now walking, because he's out of stamina. So let's head inside. I'm gonna fire up these pestles, and then we're gonna see how many stone structures we can make with what we gathered, so... Let's go to consumables. Okay, 178 there, that's awesome. And 199 there, look at that! Whew! Okay, we'll let those puppies craft, 
And then, I guess the best option is to get the thatch in my inventory first. And then I'll just add some wood, add some stone, and we'll just make as much as we can, so. Did I learn the stone tier? I did. I gotta make sure it's all S plus, though. I mean, I can always convert it if I screw it up, but if I don't have to make one of those conversion tables yet, I'd rather not, so. Let's start with foundations. And uh, looking at the floor in here, this is six. I'd probably like it to be nine foundations, at least for now. And then, uh, I don't know if I'd really need to expand it past that point or not. It depends. I mean, I'm a solo player. I'm really not going to be putting much in the base outside of, like, crafting stuff. So, nine is definitely good for now. Might need later in the future to, uh, to make more, but I don't know. Okay, that was the last of the foundations. Now let's make a double door, because those things are like a godsend. If you've never used the double doors before, whoo boy, they're some shit, let me tell ya. Okay, next we gotta fire off some walls here, so let's see. Uh, I'm probably just gonna flood my inventory with a bunch of stone, as much as I can carry. And we're just gonna keep on crafting these bad boys. Now. So if I've got nine foundations, and then I put a door on there, I'm gonna need three, six, nine, and then eleven walls for the first floor. Okay? Eleven for the first floor. So that right there, that'll be the first one. And then I'll need 12 for the second. So I'll need 24 walls total. Er, wait, no, I did that math wrong. I need 23 walls total. That's better. Bunnas can't add. Okay, that's gonna be 24 walls coming up. Oh, wait, wait, no, I said 23. God damn it. Okay, 23. Good. We got it. All right. <laughs> I think we're on the same page now. I mean, me with myself and my own head. Okay, so now we need ceilings, and we're only going to need nine of those. Um, I might do a sloped ceiling or something in the future, you know, kind of like I have in this base. Something that's, something that's coot, you know? I like coot roofs. But for right now, I think a flat one's fine. Should I do a sloped one? <sighs> Alright, fuck it, let's do a sloped one. Sloped stone roof, we're going to do the sides, and then we're going to learn the S-plus version of those. So we're gonna need six sloped stone roofs. Okay. Do I have... Am I actually gonna have enough to make all this stuff? I think I actually might. I'm shocked. I mean, I was just gathering, you know? I didn't actually count anything. I didn't do any math. I was just slapping some shit together and I hope for the best. Holy crap, I think we actually have enough. Look at that. Let's, uh... Let's redo our math here just to assure that we got everything we need. So, nine foundations. We got the double door. Okay. We have 11 walls for the first floor. And then the 12th one would be the double door. Obviously, right? And then we're going to have 12 walls for the second floor. And then we have these things for each side because those are the uh, little slopes, you know, that go up. And then I have six ceilings which is correct, but I now need two additional walls and three flat ceilings. Okay, so two walls, three. So we might not have enough. I don't know here. Let's see. Three sloped. Um, do I have the S-plus version of that? I don't think I do. Let's go learn it real quick. Okay, so one, two, three. And then we need two walls. And I'm all out of stone, so I don't think... Oh, no, I'm just shy. Oh, we came so close, guys. That's okay. One wall shy? That's a pretty good estimate of my resources. Holy crap. Like I said, I wasn't counting anything. I was just spitballing it, so... The fact that it lined up like that? I'm a fucking genius. Okay, Wanda. You gotta carry this stuff for me. Because it's, it's really heavy for a bana. Oh, my little legs are quivering, just bringing it to you. There you go. Okay, and that should be enough for the last wall that we need. Which is right there. Okay. And I think that's about it. I'm gonna need a lot more uh, refining forges for melting metal over there. But I'm gonna be getting that whenever I'm smacking the metal and stuff anyways. Like, stone is a byproduct. 
So I'll probably just keep it, and then that way I can keep crafting stuff with it. Um, as for the rest of this, I can probably pack it all up, and let's check on those narcotics too. So those still have a good bit to go. Um, and my XP booster ran out, so there's really no sense of keeping these running now. I'm just going to cancel them, and we will save all these narco berries for in the future. We got 171 narcotics crafted in that time, though. Look at that! That's going to come in handy. Um, I'll probably use these mainly for trank arrows, because I can just use narco berries to keep things knocked out, since I can get those so easy and I don't have to craft them and everything. So that's the plan. Oh, God, I'm fat. Oh, Wanda. Oh, Wanda, take my shit, please. Okay, I think that's probably all I'm going to take. Right? Because I want to leave a little bit of a base here in case I have to shack up here at some point. Actually, maybe I'll leave one of those pestles, too. Just so I have a pestle in this area. But the rest of the stuff, I think I'll... Where the fuck did my pestles go? Where are my pestles? Oh, they're on my bar! Okay. Alright, well, let's leave one of these guys. Just in case I need it. Um, the preserving bin I'll remake. I will take this stuff, though, that I gathered, because it's not going to do any good sitting here rotten. And we do have these Easter eggs. Um, the Easter event is over now, so you can't get these anymore. I only got eight of them in that short amount of time that we played. And I think what you need to do is, like, you need to place them down or something. You gotta, like, put them down on the ground or something. Maybe outside. M m well... Maybe not. Maybe you can't place them anymore now that the event's done. Huh. Alrighty then. Alright, well let's consolidate a little bit of our resources here because I'm gonna need another smithy over there. So let's grab some metal, hide, um, wood, and maybe fiber? I don't know if you use fiber for a smithy or not. Let's see. Uh, there we go. S plus smithy. Because we gonna need that. And I need more stone to make the forge. Like I said, I'll probably get that when I'm harvesting metal. So that's okay. And let's see. Her weight is damn near maxed out still. That did nothing to reduce it. So let's maybe drop the wood. We can harvest that over there. Let's drop the extra stone. Let's see what we can dump. And I'm probably not going to be able to ride her. So maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just grab this charcoal, and that might work. Let's put you on follow. You gonna follow me, Wanda? Oh, yeah you are, girl. Wanda, you are the shit. Let me tell you. Oh, well, never mind. I really can't take any more off you. You have to carry that much, okay? Holy shit, wait a second. Hang on. I have 11 levels? Holy crap! That got me a lot more than I thought it was going to get me. Alright, well let's get to the cave. We'll slap down the base that I've made so far. And then I think we're going to invest those levels. And we're going to unlock some more grids. Oh, Honda. Your pathfinding is questionable. Honda strolling through the forest reminds me of when we stroll through the forest. Wanda, you stuck? Wanda. Girl, you can fit through there. You're not that fat. Come on. Well, in the effort of breaking that stone, I pretty much gathered enough for a forge. So, might just keep that. Let's go. Alright, look at that, a forge. We're gonna need some beds there, too. So, I might as well go ahead and make those. And that'll help consolidate a little bit more of the resources. It's crazy how dark it is in the woods. Even though it's not even remotely close to nighttime. Like... The shadows and the shade from everything, it gets so dark in here. Come on, Wanda! Make the jump! Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh, oh, what's happening down here? Stego getting eaten by a raptor? Yeah, okay. Wanda, make sure you stay back, girl. Don't want you getting hurt, okay? I'm gonna spyglass him. Looks like a tech raptor. What level are you, bud? Huh? Probably shit, because it seems like all the levels are messed up, but I'd at least like to know. Eh, 57. 
Yeah, that's still garbage. Her. Nope. Oh, you sneaky bitch. Aha! All right. There we go. Now we can go to town. Wait, did I just knock it out? Oh, shit, I have Trank Arrows equipped. Huh. Well, I wasn't trying to tame you. Um, you sure do want tamed. But I don't need you. You're too low level, so I think I'm just gonna kill it. And because it's a tech creature, I think I can actually harvest it and get, like, oil out of it, right? Which might be kind of useful. Come on down, Wanda. It's safe, girl. There you go. Okay. Let's see what we get. Yeah, look at that! I think that's actually the first oil and electronics on the account. That's crazy. That's actually really useful for me. Um, I don't know what we need oil for quite yet. Oh, Wanda! Wanda, I know you're trying to protect me, but just stop it. It's okay. It's okay. I got it. Look at that. See? Crossbow to the head. That's all you gotta do. Anyways, yeah, I'm not sure what I would use oil for quite yet. But it's used to craft a lot of stuff, and I'm gonna need gas pretty soon for the fabricator. So, oh my god, that's an alpha raptor. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh, we might need to abandon mission here. Alright, come on back, Wanda. Come on. Um... Maybe if I got you into the cave, you'd be safe? Oh shit, this isn't good. Alright, you know what? Let's... Let's chop this tree down. Which is, I know, going to over-encumber me. But let's make a storage box real quick so I can stash the stuff that's weighing me down. And then let's try to get you into the cave, okay? Let's try to get you safe. And if that thing's low enough level, I might be able to take it with Frederick. I don't know. I wasn't planning on fighting an alpha, but it's in my turf. Okay, small storage box. Let's make that guy. Let's stash the stuff that's weighing us down. And then let's try to get you to safety, Wanda, okay? Your safety's my main priority. You're like my pride and joy, girl. Okay, she can move. Albeit not fast at all. But it might be enough to get in that cave entrance. So let's... Oh, Wanda, please. Your turn radius is terrible. Let's not die here, okay? This is not the place for us to die. I did not come this far to be done in by an Alpha Raptor. Especially after I survived that attack last episode. I'm still having PTSD from that. Oh, we're so close! Come on! Come on, Cave of Safety! Cave of Safety! Oh, yes! All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure the badness can't spawn up here. I think. So if I park her down here like where I did last time, and <laughs> which there's still a fucking body bag here. I think she'll be okay. So we can leave you here, take you off a of follow, and then I will go and try to get both of my raptors, and maybe I'll pit both of them up against that alpha, because they would get a pack boost then, right? Maybe. Let's, let's spy glass it. Let's see what level this thing is. Well, I'm not really seeing it now. Unless it's chasing that parasaur over there, is it? No, the Dilo's not boosted. I don't, I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go back to the original plan. I'm just gonna try to put a base in. And I don't know if I should put it here, or if I should build it outside. You know, I feel like if I build it here, I'm kind of protected. Somewhat. But I'd also like a garden, and I can't have a garden in here. So it would have to be out here. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I should just build outside? Um, no, I didn't mean to do that, so let's not do that. Let's pick that back up. Okay, I think we're gonna put the base outside of the cave. Because it's a little bit flatter for me to build, and uh, it's not quite as dark. So I think it'll be kind of nice for, uh, you know, keeping it lighter. Living in a cave doesn't sound too appealing to me, does it you guys? Doesn't me. So we're not gonna do it. Okay, I think we got a layout that works. So that's the 3x3, three three. and I'll probably put the front door, like, right here in the corner. That's probably the best spot for it, right there, okay? And I'm probably gonna need all those walls, so... That'll be the entrance, 
and I can probably put down some of the stuff inside, but I'm gonna box it first. That way I can uh, carry all the other stuff. Oh, hey, it's raining! That's perfect timing. Thank you, Ark. Okay, let's slap up some walls. Let's get some safety up in here. You know what I'm saying? Outside weather conditions are no place for a bunna. I mean, they actually kind of are, but not this bunna. Okay, we'll put up the little slopes. One goes there, one goes there, and then the other side, just like we did before. And I should be able to snap these guys on without doing the one in the center. Let's see. Ho oh, ho! Look at that! <coughs> oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! Alright, and then these three for the metal. Look at that! We have a foggy stone base! That's great! Alright, so... Logistically speaking here, okay? If I enter my base, if I come strolling on in, right? I would kind of like the smithy to be here, and then the fabricator beside it. And then maybe like catwalks over those guys with like storage and stuff, refining forges, you know? That would free up some, uh, some floor space. So I think what I'm gonna do, put this guy here, and I'm gonna make a crafting station at some point too, which is the exact same thing as a smithy basically, but it's the S plush version, or S plus, <laughs> It is the S Plus version, and it has some other capabilities, but it also lacks some of the capabilities of a regular smithy. So you still need to end up having both. Um, and this one's obviously more important to get first off, so I made that guy first. Okay, let's get ourselves a bed down, and I'm going to need a bunch of these guys at some point, but we're just going to put one for now, and we're going to put Cave HQ. That way we know that that is our base. All right, let's slap a pestle down in front of the smithy for right now. So we got that guy going for us. And I guess for the time being, let's put the refining forge at the foot of my bed to keep my feet toasty, you know? We're gonna have to smelt some metal before we can uh, finalize things in here. So that'll do for now. Okay, I just grabbed all that charcoal and stuff that I put in that one box. And I just remembered that I have another box here as well that has obsidian and crystals in it that I gotta move to this base. So I'm probably just gonna pull it with us plus. Wanda! I need to empty your inventory! Come with me! I'm still kind of nervous that that alpha raptor's close by, so I think I'm gonna park her way through the entrance, and I'm just gonna move the stuff from here, so. We got narco berries that I can pull. The rest of the stuff I might just be able to carry, because I think I got, you know, the heaviest of all of it. Let's see. And uh, that spark powder's pretty heavy. No, we're, we're, we're gonna give it a try. Can I move? I can't move. What if I give you the eggs? Okay, this will work. All right, dumping the inventory. There is our smithy of storage. And I'll tell you what, I think I might go ahead and start making some gunpowder because we've got stacks of charcoal. We've got stacks of spark powder. Um, I'll save one though for a preserving bin because we still have to make that. So let's put that in there, and I guess I don't have gunpowder made yet, or learned yet, rather, so let's learn that guy, and look at that! 290-some, crafting up, and the narco berries are still out there on Wanda, so I can pull those in for right now. Let's find the narco berry, pull those guys, and I think that was pretty much it, right? Is that us moved? Aside from the raptors still? No, I got spoiled meat. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much moved. All right, so I got to get a preserving bin in here real fast. And then I think we will grab Frederick and Dispository Suppository, and we should be good. I am also going to make a sickle, because I am tired of handpicking fiber. And we are about to have all of the metal on the planet, so I don't feel bad wasting 18 ingots or whatever it is for it, so. Oh, yeah. This is an upgrade. Look at that. It's also getting super dark. Not just dark, but super dark. Let's see. S plus. There it is. Okay. And now we can get all of our food in there. That's going to actually be great, too, because we're going to get a lot of food out of the uh, cave. You know, running Frederick down there. So 
Let's slap that dude. Maybe not there, because I'm probably going to put another forge there for the time being. So let's do it right there. And let's get some spark powder in that guy. Okay, spark powder. And I wasn't able to carry all this stuff because my dude's fat. So, got to grab the rest of it. Oh, look at that. That's a healthy looking preserving bin, minus the lack of all food. Okay. Okay, well now that we're kind of like pseudo settled in, I think we're going to invest those levels that we got. So, let's open her up. I think I want to get to about 200 health. So we'll put it there, and the rest, uh, let me see here. I probably should increase my weight a little bit. So let's, let's aim for 300 weight, I think, next. So let's do that, okay? So we were level 45, now we're 56, which means that we've gained two chunks. So let's tab out of the game, and let's go see what we got. Okay, so here we are. Let's grab our random number generator, if Windows would uh, help me out with that. And we have 1 through 10. So I'm going to double check that, as I do, just to verify. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Okay. And we've already got those numbers put in. Min 1, max 10. So let's see what we get. 3. Okay. 3 is another piece of land. I can deal with that. So let's hide that guy. Let's grab our handy selection tool. And then you know what we're going to do? We're going to be sassy to it. Oh. Oh, it thinks we're going to go fast. But quite the opposite. Oh, shit. We're going to go slow. Mm. Oh, we're going to take our... Oh, oh, we're taking our time. Oh. Oh, just... Oh, piece by piece. Oh, shit. Mm, that's how it likes it. Yeah, it doesn't like it fast. It likes it slow. And then just when it reaches the... Oh, there it goes! Okay, and now we're ready for the next grid. So we have 1 through 11 for this guy. And I'm going to double check, as always. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Let's see what we get. 6. 6 is ocean. Ocean's not that great for me right now, but in the future, it will be. So let's deselect that. Let's grab the selection tool. And this time, all right, this time, we're going to be British to it. All right. We're going to downsize the brush. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to erase that out of there. You know, all right. Just like a Bob Ross painting. Yeah, just like Bob Ross would do. He'd take it. And he'd just shimmy it about. You know? He'd just take his brush and he'd just shimmy it around. He'd just erase the grid. He'd take away the square. Little happy bushes. In retrospect, though, that square actually might be pretty good. I don't know if there's a cave there or not. I actually think there might be caves along those bottom three grids that I've unlocked over the past few episodes. So as soon as I get scuba gear, which might not be that far off, we can go cave splunkin. Underwater. Sounds like a terrible idea. Plesiosaurs hate me. Okay, so back in game here, let's pop up our map. And I might need to take off that ghillie glove, as always, because it's always blocking the screen. And let's add pins to those new locations. So we now have... What is it? 75? And then... 85? I think that's it. 75... 85? And that color's fine. This will be, what, nine? I think that's right. Nine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then the other one was ocean, which I can't mark. Because as I said, it, uh, it doesn't allow me to put them in the ocean for some reason. What I might be able to do is put the pin at the bottom of the grid. Actually, let's see what that looks like real quick. So let's press P. That one was on latitude. We'll have to do 90 because that's the max. And then it will be 35, I think. That'll be pin number 10. There, so that actually kind of works. See? Hmm. I might just do that across the board real quick. Okay, so there it is across the board. For some reason, the pins go in at different directions and angles and stuff. I don't know why they did it like that. It's kind of weird. That last one at uh, 90, 65 is a little bit janky. 
but the fact that there's two pins there, at least I know that that ocean's unlocked. So let me let me know what you guys think. Actually, leave me comments saying if you want pins in the ocean or not, because I can remove those guys if they're like too much of an eyesore. But I think at a quick glance, like if I'm out exploring and I'm in the water, I think that's kind of nice because it at least tells me where I can and can't go in the water. You know? But let me know in the comments below. Alright, well this is probably a dumb move, but I'm gonna run back to the old base, grab my two raptors, and we're gonna come back here, and I think we're gonna go down in that cave and do one little harvest of all the metal and stuff that I can get. And we'll take Wanda to carry stuff, and we'll have Frederick to guard her. Okay, Frederick. We have places to be. We have things to do. Let us go forth and wreck this island together. Oh yeah, it got dark, it's fucking scary. Okay, here we are. Finally. Holy crap. What a journey in the dark that was. Alright, well. A dispository suppository. You may remain right there. Frederick, you have some killing to do. Yes. Come on, Honda. Y you'll figure it out. Okay, maybe she won't figure it out. W Wanda, what you doing, girl? Huh? What, what you spazzing out for? Come here. Here. L let me try to help you. There you go. See? It's not that bad. Come on, Wanda. We're almost to the promised land. Ho ho! Look at this. We've got metal, Wanda. This is what I'm talking about. Let's drop back, guy. Pull out the pick. And let's start loading up. Oh, this is glorious. Look at all this metal. This is so nice, guys. Like, right at my back door, you know? I can step out of my house. Look at that. 143 without even trying. Oh, what's this? More metal, you say? Well, yes, I think I will partake. Oh, it's just rolling in, guys. Look at that. 300 metal so far. This is great. Now, I do have to be careful that a Megalosaurus doesn't just, like, fuck us up. Because there was one down here sleeping before. Um, I did a Dino Wipe, so it's gone now, but obviously they can spawn any time, so... I gotta be careful of that. Well, hey, since we're down here in this deep, dark cave, and I'm smacking away with a pickaxe, something else I wanted to ask you guys was if you think I should turn up my gamma settings or not. So right now, this is gamma 2, and I can just stick with using torches if you guys like that atmosphere. But the alternative would be just to type in the gamma setting in the console, and boom! Look at that. Makes a massive difference, but it also takes away from the atmosphere. So I don't know if you guys like the darker caves that are like torchlit, or if you guys don't like torches and you'd rather me do just a gamma setting and be done with it. So that's something else you should uh, let me know. Give me some feedback, because I'll do either or. It doesn't matter. Okay, Wanda, how fat are you? Oh, yeah. You're getting there, girl. Okay, Wanda, how much more can you carry here? Let's try that much. You should be okay. I'll probably just drop this stone. And then, can you carry me, Frederick? Yes, you can. All right. Let's go. You know what will be a great mount to bring in here to gather stuff? A kangaroo. Those things would be perfect. You know? Not much damage, so it couldn't really, like, kill anything, per se. But I could just knock it away with my legs. Just kick them. And then I could just harvest everything. Because kangaroos have, like, an insane carry weight. Okay, well, it was a bit cumbersome getting through the cave with one on follow, but we survived. We come out on top, so look at that. I'm gonna stop her right there, and I'm probably gonna park Frederick right beside her, because I think we can just pull the metal and the stone off of her from inside our base. So I'm gonna see. It, it might be too far. I don't know. I don't think it is, though. Let's try. Come on in here. Grab this. Metal. All. Ho ho! 551 metal, people. Plus what I have on me. I'm calling that a success. 
That was a big success. Mission accomplished. We had a goal. We set out. And we did it. Alright, well that's probably gonna do it for this episode. We accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish, including a move to the new location. We got a bunch of levels off that stuff I crafted. We got our raptors and Wanda moved into the cave. So now, I think what I'm probably gonna do, let's take a look at the map here. And I wanna see... The chunks that we unlocked didn't really open up any more opportunity for us in terms of, uh, you know, an Argent was the big thing I was looking for. But even like Rexes. I can find some Rexes, but there's not a ton in these chunks. So probably what's lined up for next episode is going to be scouting for a couple other creatures that I wouldn't mind taming and having for other purposes. And whatever we come across, it might just get a Trank Arrow in the face, and it might become our new pet. Alrighty then. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please keep leaving me comments as always, because they brighten up my day, and they make this bunna happen. And plus it gives great feedback for what I should and shouldn't be doing, and I posed a couple questions this episode that I would like you guys to answer if you can, because it helps to steer me in a good direction in terms of like what I want to do with the series and what I want the atmosphere to be like and how I want things to progress. So please keep leaving me comments. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.